Good morning, everybody. My name is Sandosh Balakrishnan, and I work with the French Network Information Center. I'm an R&D engineer there. It doesn't work, it seems. Okay. <laughs> so today I, I'm going to talk about a, a tool called Zone Master, which is a tool used for uh, DNS validation. So this uh, project has been uh, we have, we have work, the, it has been working with the uh, AFNIC, the French registry, and the Swedish registry, IS. We started it like three years ago, and we are planning to maintain for another two years. Uh, both the companies have agreed to work on this project for the l next two years also. So uh, to set it as a preamble, uh, I always start with a slide, which, which I took it from the NHS. Our body even though we have a lot of issues, we are alive. But uh, lots of research has put into saying that different parts of the body have different medical tests, and we have to do it to make sure that uh, our body is fit. So I call that as a comprehensive health check. So it's similarly for DNS, we have different uh, parts for the DNS zone where we have to test, even though your website works, sometimes you will have issues. So we need a tool to have a comprehensive test for the DNS. What do we do? Let's take an example. I did a test with RMLL. It's a logiciel libre in France. It's like the first dem in France. So I did a test with a tool that we always use, dig. So what happens when I do a dig? The, <clears throat> the site works. But when I do the same test, Using Zone Master, a comprehensive test, uh, I use the Zone Master CLI. I'm not sure whether it is clear. We have issues here that are one warning and two notices. So there is one name server that is not properly working. So that is why we need that we need to have a comprehensive uh, tool for validating zone uh, uh, DNS zone. But there are a number of tools in uh, there, open source, paid, and everything, and why Zone Master is different. The Zone Master targets different types of people. If you're just a user, you want to check your website, you go to the SAS, the public GUI, zonemaster.net, and enter your domain name and have, a, uh, have the results to see whether your, your zone, your web, the, do, the zone for your website or a domain name is, is healthy. Then for advanced users, you can install the engine, which is the Perl library, which uh, does the comprehensive test, and use the interface, the command line interface. You, you should also install that, and you can uh, uh, do various customizations to see how, it, how your zone or of a domain is working. Then, if you are a, uh, if you are a guy, who, if you are a registry or a registrar or somebody who has a portfolio of domain names, like 100,000 domain names, you want to test all the domain names. You want to test all the domain names in a batch, and then you want to store them in somewhere in a database, see the history, whether it has worked in 2015, now it is working, what was the difference? You can also do that by installing the backend and the GUI. You can have your own interface. And then you can also use call the Zone Master Perl library from your own application. So these are the different target users that we, we planned with the Zone Master. So this is an example of rmll.info, which we test using the gra graphical user interface, the website. And you will see there is an issue, the yellow color. Now, how do you test from the CLI? So you install the CLI in your own system, computer and then you use the master iPhone CLI and run your domain. Then there are different, it's not clear, as you can see that, if you, <laughs> you have different uh, levels of customization. For example, if you want to test only with IPv4, if you want to test certain tests and not others, if you want to change the uh, level of uh, the debug, you can have debug one, two, three. There are different pol uh, uh, prospects with the Zone Master, so you can use that with the CLI. You can also use, there is also a JSON RPC interface. There's an API where you can call from your application to run and then get results. So the first one 
shows that uh, you have started a test and you got an ID and the second here shows that with this ID you get the results so this is the result in JSON. How do you run a batch test? When I call a batch test you run like five, ten, hundred thousand domains. So similarly you run a, you call the JSON RPC, you put the number of domains, you add a batch job, you call the method add batch job and you have an API and user key and then you run the test, you get a response with an ID and you can use this ID to get the number of results. So this is for example where I'm showing is that there are about 200 tests, there are five tests that has been finished and 195 tests are running. So there is an API documentation in GTAB which is being updated. There have been some feedbacks that it is not properly documented. So we are updating that. Then you can also call from your application, uh, from your own software. You call the library, you can use commands like this. I, I know you are more expert than me. So you can use this to get the results. Now this is how the top one is a local implementation by the Swedish registry where they are using Zone Master. And the second one is used by a company called Pingdom where they are testing all the government sites in Sweden to show whether it is properly uh, using DNSSEC or not. So they are using Zone Master. So these are the two examples. If you see Zone Master in brief, it is an open source project and the, the, all the code is in BSD2 license. It has been vastly documented. That is one of the main differences between other tools and the Zone Master. I will go deep into that after, afterwards. So it, all the documentation is used using the Creative Commons license. So what our objective was that, our, when I say our objective, both the Swedish registry and the French registry, to create Zone Master as a tool that should be used by everybody to test the zone validity for the DNS zone. Uh, you can use it for delegated and non-delegated zones. When I say non-delegated zones, it is not already there in the DNS. You can test them. There are three types of interfaces, CLI, web, and API. We can have different levels of output. You can have uh, high, medium, and low levels of output. You can have the output in web, HTML, text, and JSON. Now we are supporting four languages, English, French, Swedish, and Danish. And you can also customize it according to your needs. I will also go deep into that. As of now, we are supporting four OS, Debian, CentOS, FreeBSD, and Ubuntu. Uh, it might not be all the versions have been supported, but we are trying to keep it updated. So I told you earlier about the documentation. So when we started, before both IAS, the Swedish registry, and AFNIC, the French registry, we had our own uh, zone, uh, validation tool, DNS zone validation tool. AFNIC was using zone check, and uh, IAS was using DNS check. So both of them, when they wanted to update it, we, th we thought that we will create a new tool. So the first thing that we said was that there was not enough documentation. So we had to have that enough documentation. So what we did was we took all the requirements from these tools, existing tools. We, we removed the, one of the tests that were obsolete. We added some of the new tests. And every time there was a new requirement, we have a review and saying that this is the test that should be updated. We update it like requirements. And then we put them under eight different categories. So as of now, we have like 84 tests classified into eight di different categories. And all these tests are documented like this. For example, take this first test. We say that why do we do this test? And which BCP or RFC says that this test should be done? Then how this test should be done? So everything is documented. So once it is documented, that's why it is getting delayed. We, we put the source, we write the source code only when the complete documentation is done and reviewed. So in case tomorrow, if you want to develop your own tool, you can just go into this documentation and use your own, develop your own tool for a zone validation, DNS zone validation. So what do we have as implementation? We have Perl and JavaScript. Most of the code is written in Perl. Uh, only the GUI part, we have some JavaScript. So there were being some feedbacks about the GUI that is not perfect. So we are uh, developing a new GUI, and uh, it is being uh, prospectively it should be up in the May of 2018. And we have a LDNS resolver uh, that we use for using the NetLDNS uh, NLNet Labs library. So the the results. How do we have the logs? 
the logs we can have a human readable form you can have in for with the tags which you could use it in your own uh, application in raw format then you can have it in json format and also you can configure the results depending upon what you, what you would like to have like you could uh, we have different levels of configurations info notice warning error and critical so that you can modify depending upon your requirements so this is an example of how we have the severity of the different tests tomorrow you say that dns sec as of now is uh, info or notice you say it should be a warning or error so you can modify that then you can also decide on which test to run for example in syntax we have eight tests you say that i don't want to run syntax 06 so you can put it as zero and that test will not be running you can also go into the configurations of how the resolver should work uh, whether you should, if you want to test only with IPv6 or IPv4, that also could be done. And for fine-graining the tests, we can say, for example, if you want, have a domain and you know that one of the name servers is not working and you don't want to have an error on that, you just, can just put it as a warning. So this is these are the different uh, configuration levels that you can do in Zone Master to adapt to yourself. And we have decided to make, currently there are, these are different files. So we will have only one file in the future, which is called the profile file. So you can just change it and use zone master CLI dash profile, and then you can run your domain based upon your configurations. So we have configured features in the GUI where we have the, like for example, here the YANA profile, but it currently it is obsolete. So the new GUI will, ha will update that. Then regarding standardization efforts, we try to standardize it in the ITF. It didn't go well. There were a lot of feed, positive as well as negative feedbacks. So currently we are planning to push it as a best practice document at RIPE. So it is in a to, to, do, to do thing. So who are all using Zone Master? IS has its own implementation. Sira, the Canadian registry is using it. DK Hostmaster has their own implementation. As I showed, Pingdom has that. RIPE NCC is using it. And I can as recently confirmed that it will be using Zone Master for PDT and registrars like GoDaddy and the OVH in their websites are linking back to the Zone Master Center. The Council of European National Top Level Domains is planning to use Zone Master for statistics purpose. And asking you all to uh, test Zone Master, give us feedback and contributions. So this is the different references we have. Everything is in GitHub. If you want to uh, get, give feedback, we, we have this uh, mailing list. That's it. <coughs> Did I go fast? No, you have yeah. about seven minutes in ah, so, questions. Okay. So that's it. I try to go fast. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> so, questions? I have two questions. Number one is where do you store the data? Do you have a database in the backend to store all the results yeah. for the history? For example, if you use zonemaster.net, everything is stored in our own system, all this information. And the second question, uh, is it possible to have multiple engines or at least multiple worldwide distributed probes? Because if you use any CAS DNS, it may work from one side of the world, but it may be broken on the other side of the world. I think you can launch multiple engines, yeah. I have not done that, but I think you can do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any plans to support ED25519 on the Zone Master? What was that? To support ED25519 algorithm. The new elected, elected elliptical co yeah. I think you can uh, uh, start an issue in GTEP, and then we will decide, the team will decide whether we need it or not. Then we can, will update the algorithm, uh, test case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other questions? No? Maybe I have a general question because uh, at least this is a rather small community. Yeah. And I, I guess I know half of the people here in the room, but only by name, not by faces. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe there's, I, I would be interested in having like a short introduction round where everybody says just its name and the software of the company is working on. To, to get networking done. If, if there are no more questions, right now we have five minutes. Yeah? Yep.
but some, uh, some of the gifts notification for minimum values. Where does the minimum values come from? Recommendations for them? The minimum value came from the, uh, I think it's from the RFC, or it's the RIPE BCP, I'm not sure. You had something? Yeah, but uh, it doesn't say on the site. Where you said that everything has a uh, okay. definition that, that comes from an RFC or something, but it doesn't say on the website where it came from. Where it came from? I don't know that point. Uh, yeah, I see that. Thank you. Okay.